Well, hello Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your Harvest Moon reading for your full moon in Pisces, September 20th or 21st, 2021, depending on where you are in the world. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's see what we've got for you guys. Just a reminder, as always, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind because not everything will every single time. But let's see what we've got going for you. Now, this is a very powerful full moon, as they all are in their own right. But this is in Pisces. And the moon loves to be in the water signs. And with this full moon, uh, this is very spiritual. It's very magical. Um, it's kind of like a little bit dreamy, um, probably a little bit emotional for some of you as well. And uh, you might be finding yourself feeling a little bit off balance. Okay. Uh, so you might want to ground your energy in some way. All right. Through connecting with nature, meditation, maybe crystals. All right. Whatever that means for you. Um, this full moon, this is the harvest moon. So this is a time of plenty. It's a time of abundance opportunities, doors opening for you. The, um, you know, some of you are seeing the fruits of your labor come to fruition. Things are wrapping up. Um, all of these wonderful energies that are coming in here for you guys, right? If you think of farmers and their crops, right? They planted their crops, they set their seeds, okay, in the springtime. And now here we are in the fall and uh, where we are reaping what we have sown. We are harvesting, our intentions. We are harvesting our crops, if you will. All right. So um, things are starting to open up for you. Things are starting to shift for you. Full moons, of course, also help us detach. All right. Leave things behind that are no longer serving us. Okay. Complete things, um, you know, and so that we can move on to the next thing. All right. It's where we also clear out any old energy, um, old belief systems, fears, worries, doubts, things that are we don't want to take forward with us. And this full moon is really good. Um, it comes into full effect about uh, not long after, um, not long after Mercury uh, trines with Jupiter. All right, so this really highlights um, optimism, generosity, good fortune, good news. All of those things are really highlighted for you. And this moon may be really good for making plans business deals, legal matters, maybe research something, get more information, maybe make travel plans. So very wonderful time for you. Now we've got the peace card coming out for you guys first. So this is a time of inner peace and enlightenment. All right, you might really be tapping into this moon energy, expanding your consciousness, right? And really raising your vibration in a very positive way, right? Certainly um, releasing anything that affects your inner peace. So you may be engaging in spiritual practice um, or this is a reminder to do so. Okay, find a little bit of time for yourself, meditation, spiritual practice, um, finding ways to keep your inner balance, keep your inner peace. You might be looking at situations, people and relationships in your life as well, and you may be looking to make amends. Okay, or at least find forgiveness within you so that you can release energy and you can move forward. And when we talk about forgiveness, it's not about another person. I do get comments on my channel every once in a while when I do talk about forgiveness. And, um, you know, the, the comments back sometimes are, you know, I'll never forgive this person and they did this and I'll never forgive this and I'm going to, you know, all these things and they don't deserve this and on and on. And um, it's unfortunate when I do see those and I do try and respond, but it is unfortunate because finding forgiveness within us is not anything to do with another person or another situation or something that has, um, you know, caused us to harbor ill will or anger or quite often grief, which quite often disguises itself as anger. But it's nothing to do with somebody else. It all has to do with that in us because we don't want those energies to fester. We want to be able to release those so that we can move forward healthy, happy, balanced, and in alignment that we can have our inner peace. 
We'll never forget the lessons. We'll never forget the experience, but we can definitely detach from the energy because we can now look back and you know that when you've attached, when you detached from that energy, you know that you have, because you can look back on something without any feelings anymore. It doesn't affect you. If something, you know, if you're telling a story or something like that and you're like, yeah, and you know, sometimes you tell these life stories, right? And you draw back on a past experience. And if you are able to do that without feeling anything within you, it's just an experience. You're talking about it. You've moved past it long ago. And that's how you know, because you can talk about it without anything stirring up within you. It's hard to do sometimes. It takes time. But with this full moon, this may be that time for you to do that. Find that, find that way to release that energy cord cutting meditations. There's chakra clearing meditations you can do as well, right? Anything along those lines, right? You, they don't necessarily, it's not a light switch, doesn't necessarily work the first time out. You might have to repeat them, especially depending on the type of situation that you're trying to release the energy from. All right, you might need to do it a number of times, but you'll know when you're successful, you will feel freer, lighter, like a massive weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. This may also be a call for some of you with the peace energy that you may actually um, have some skills within you, right? Maybe you have some great conflict resolution skills. Maybe these may also be highlighted for you at this time as well. So use your powers for good. But we've got full moon and Libra energy. Look at this. This is a blessing. Oh, wonderful. A win-win outcome is forecast. Look, the scales of balance. Yay! All right, Libra, if there's something that you guys really enjoy, it's about balance, harmony, and, uh, you know, those uh, scales evened out, right? Um, so a win-win outcome is forecast. So this is something you might, you might again be mediating something with that peace energy there. It's like, you know what? Everyone wins, right? We find a way, we find a compromise, we find a healthy balance, everyone's good, right? So you might be embarking on that. But whatever, something else in your life, a win-win outcome. Good for you, good for something else. Good for you, good for them. Okay. Um, you may be wrapping up a legal situation, those scales of justice. Okay. We quite often get with legal situations. Um, you know, if you're, if you're wrapping up, say, a divorce, right? Again, a win-win outcome, right? Balanced fairness equality is very much highlighted with that. Okay. And again, the full moons are about release wrapping things up, seeing things through to completion. So whatever it is that you're working on, contracts, legal situations may be very, very much highlighted for you. All right. And certainly something coming through to completion there. Okay. It could also be, uh, if you are, you know, making a big purchase, everything balanced and fair, always read the fine print. Whenever we get those skills of justice there, Always read the fine print and everything that you do. It's not anything negative, of course, win-win outcome, but it's always good to be informed, especially if you are signing any kind of legal documentation, right? Someone may hold you to a contract later on down the road, and because you signed it, there's no pleading ignorance, okay? So always just make sure you're getting, you know what you're getting into with that, okay? But this is a wonderful, um, wonderful positive energy that is coming out for you in that in that card. So love what we're seeing so far. Well, let's see what else we've got for you. Messages for Libra, please. And I love that that is showing in your sign as well. And it's almost your birthday, Libra. So really something wrapping up for you guys there. And here we go. We've got uncorded relationships. All right. So with that unicorn energy that is there, this is number four. Fours are about foundation, home, family, career, um, your sense of security. And this one here is saying to detach. Okay, very much in relation to that peace energy there. Okay, let go now. Forgiveness is freedom. Same energy as the peace card. All right, when you tap into this, this energy to help you detach and release from past relationships, past, past situations, okay, this opens doors for you, all right, brings you peace, brings you freedom, and allows you to move forward with a pep in your step with some more clarity, all right, allows you to look at things differently, so certainly there is a repeating message there, 
um, for a large number of people, okay, to detach from the past. Use this full moon to its biggest potential, especially with that, that scales of justice that's coming out there, the win-win the win -win outcome. When you release and you release energetic bonds, every time we have a relationship uh, or situation, we get energetic ties, right? So cord cutting meditations for sure. But we can release and let go. So we have the two of cups. The three of cups. Page of pentacles. And the ten of pentacles. Look at that. All right. So the two of cups. This is showing us what to release. Release anything that does not serve you. Release anything that throws you out of balance, out of alignment. The two of cups is one of partnerships, relationships, but it is also a card of balance and harmony. Card of love as well. So release anything that doesn't and release anything that drags you down. Release anything that is preventing you from moving forward. If you need to, if you've had a toxic relationship in the past, those leave some of the deepest energetic bonds to us. And quite often we are still kind of seething with anger. Someone said something to me once and it stuck with me forever. Is quite often anger is grief in disguise. Because we don't always want to fully acknowledge the fact that someone who has done us wrong, done us dirty, a toxic relationship, a toxic workplace situation, whatever that happens to be, a toxic boss, a toxic parent, whatever that happens to be, we don't want to, because it's been such a negative situation, okay, maybe something ended really badly, um, by holding on to anger, we don't, it's like, we don't want to acknowledge that we're actually grieving. Promises lost, opportunities lost, future lost, those kind of things. And sometimes that anger disguises itself as grief, but our ego doesn't want us to realize that, right? Because it puts us in a position of being vulnerable. And we've got to realize that there is a huge profound sadness at letting something go. But ultimately, we need to so that new relationships, better relationships, partnerships, situations um, can come in. And we can get a better sense of who we are and what we want and restore balance and harmony in our life within ourselves, our inner peace. So release anything that throws you off, off kilter, out of whack. Sorry for that grunt. That was my dog. All right. So that is what we're releasing in this full moon. Lessons learned, how to celebrate, how to be joyful, how to relish the people in your life, how to give of yourself without expectations, how to be happy. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration, joy, togetherness. It's the social card, right? Getting together with your friends, all right? Just enjoying your life and the people that are around you. Three of Cups is a very happy celebratory energy. All right. And when you let go of resentment, guilt, fear, anger, worry, uh, grief. All right. You find your way forward and then you can jump for joy. Right. And you can just be you. And it elevates you and it opens your heart and allows you to move forward. You can collaborate with people in a positive way. Enjoy your partnerships, enjoy your relationships on a more balanced and uplifting way. Also, a little bit of freedom sometimes comes in there with that Three of Cups um, because the, the three, it's about getting together with friends, right? And just, you know, dancing the jig, so to speak. It's quite often my happy hour card, right? So, what are you embracing? What you value, 
your new sense of self, the page of pentacles quite often shows the first signs of prosperity knocking at our door. All right. The first tangible results of setting our intentions. The pages bring in excitement. They bring in news. All right. And, but they also bring in a fresh energy, a fresh sense of self, sense of accomplishment. Um, they bring in a spring in your step. All right. And, you know, uh, quite often good news as well. Now, with this being the pentacles, the pentacles really does highlight, um, you know, career, money, um, your sense of worth, your security also represents your values. And the page of pentacles is showing you there's something that you value that you want to grow and you want to improve upon and that you want to embrace. So embrace those things that give you that spring in your step. Embrace the things, the opportunities that allow you personal growth, that allow you expansion, that allow you to move forward, that allow you all of the wonderful positive things in your life. Nothing holds back the page of pentacles. If you need to do some research, do some research. The page of pentacles is one of, you know, needing more knowledge, right? Knowledge, research, get, you know, nose in the book, right? Nose to the grindstone kind of thing. Think about, you know, if you're sending your kids off to college, university, and all the wonder th wonderful things in the world that they learn. So don't be afraid to start something new. Embrace something new, whether that is a new sense of direction, a new sense of self. Maybe you're on the quest for a new job, all right? Even new relationships, something that you can really invest in. And then where you're headed to next, your long-term goals and aspirations, you, what you hold dear, your, your security, your family, the 10 of pentacles, this is no small feat, right? The 10 of pentacles is the big time, right? It's a generational card. It's one of, you know, family, um, security, building a good life, being successful in all of your endeavors and relishing that success. All right. So where are you focused on next? What you hold val what you hold valuable, your sense of security, your worth, your long-term goals. Okay. Setting yourself up for the future. So this could be a career path. This could be your relationships. Um, you know, this can be, you know, um, you know, your home, building a wonderful home, a life for yourself right? The pentacles is everything in our material world, but also everything that we hold dear, right? Focus on what you hold dear and your long-term goals, right? And see them through to completion. And if you're doing, um, if you're doing, um, um, moon manifestation rituals, or if you're at least looking into it, maybe you're embarking on a manifestation journey, and we do quite often do manifestation with the moon just because we have more oomph, right? And yes, the full moon is certainly about release, okay? Clearing things out so that you can set intentions with the new moon. You can also set intentions with the full moon as well, right? It's really about tapping into that energy. But the full moon has that added bonus of seeing something through to completion and of releasing, okay? So it's release and then set your intentions. All right. So I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to close out your reading with, um, I got four cards here. This is the four agreements. And the concept behind this particular deck is that there's four code of conducts that, um, for attaining your personal freedom and happiness. And there's four agreements. One is be impeccable with your word. Two is don't take anything personally. Three is don't make assumptions. And four is always do your best. So they're really kind of like transformative cards. So let's see what we've got for you. One, two, three, four. And your first one out is be impeccable with your word. Realize the power of your word. Your word is the power that you have to create. It is a gift that comes directly from God, source, universe, whatever you call your higher power. B 
be impeccable with your word. We have always do your best. Your best is changing all the time. Your best will depend on whether you are refreshed in the morning or tired at night. Your best will be different when you are happy as opposed to upset or healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstances, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. All you can ever do is your best. Always do your best again. Don't overdo. Mm. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When we overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Have you ever been working so hard on a project? <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. Um, have you ever been working so hard on a project or been knee deep in something or you're totally engrossed in something? And you end up, after a certain amount of time, you actually end up being unproductive. That's that card right there. Everything in moderation. All right, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither was your life. Not everything needs to be done today. Sometimes you need to know when to put up your boundaries. We have don't make assumptions coming in here again. Learn to ask questions. Oh, we didn't have no make assumptions. Why do I think we did? Anyways, I apologize. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. What's that saying? When you assume, you make an ass of you and me. <laughs> I always liked that one. So uh, I'm a question asker, but... Anyways, too many questions sometimes, but learn to ask questions. I'm going to leave that there for you guys, okay? I hope there was something in this reading that helped you out in some way. There was a lot of different messages, so uh, for some of you, it may have, you know, all of it resonated, but for some, maybe just parts of it. All right, but whatever it was, uh, hopefully something did, and if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment as well if you wish. I hope you guys have a fantastic full moon and, of course, moving forward as well. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.